on Lake Lanier today, and you guys know one of my favorite baits, the fish head spin. Really, really one of my favorite baits, but not only am I fishing in the, in the winter, and I know I'm in short sleeves right now if you guys are watching this, when I'm not putting it out, but it's it's um, pretty hot outside right now. It's around 70 degrees, the water temp's still 60, but that doesn't mean those fish aren't deep. I'm running this fish head on the bottom in these creeks, um, right in the middle, and as you can tell, I mean, I'm fishing around 30 to 50 foot. That's what I'm targeting. Um, and I know that sounds a little crazy, but as you can tell, there's a, there's a lot of crap down there. Um, and there's also fish in it. We scanned over it a second ago. We saw a few fish. I actually caught some a, sec a second ago on the fish head um, down there. But the biggest key to the fish head, and I know you guys have been asking me this. This is why I'm demonstrating this. And there you can tell right there, there's a fish. But that one's suspended. You know, that, one, that one's in 30 foot. There's 50 foot of water, that one's in 30 foot. We're not looking directly for those. As you can tell, he's starting to move down now. That fish is going towards the bottom. He might have gone back up. It's hard to tell though. It's hard to catch the movement. But the fish that we're targeting, the fish that we're looking for, are the fish that are on the bottom. Which is gonna be hard to tell, you know. When you're looking at those fish that are close to the bottom, it's gonna be hard to really indicate that's a fish 100%, you know. Um, they're gonna be really close to the bottom, but that's what we're indicating. And what I'm doing with this fish head spin is I'm making a good long cast, and I'm waiting until I hit the bottom. That's the biggest key. You wanna work this thing on the bottom most of the time. That's my favorite way to fish it. And for the fish that we're targeting, you're gonna want it on the bottom. Um, but you throw it out there, and, and the key is, I mean, you're gonna wanna reel this thing so slow. It's almost painful. You know, I mean, you're reeling it so slow, and you're, you're going to feel all kinds of stuff on the bottom, and then you're going to want to pop it every once in a while. And every once in a while when you pop it, those fish are just, they'll key on it, they'll whack it. But just super slow, and pop it, because there might be one chasing it. And what you'll feel, when, when the fish bites it, what you'll feel is it just feels like a fish is ticking it. You know, he'll tick it probably once, and he'll tick it twice, and then by the third time you might have it. And another big key tip to the fish head that you guys are gonna to wanna to know, and this is honestly one of the most important key tips for the fish head, is you need to hook set sideways. You have to hook set sideways, just like a crankbait, like top water, you're gonna to wanna to drag to the side. I know in some of my videos, you see me hook set sideways on a fish head spin, and you guys are probably, a lot of you guys comment, why are you hook setting like that? Because all, all I do is I just sweep into them, and then you already have them, you just have your pressure. If you hook set up, what that fish head's gonna do is the hook's gonna twist sideways, it's not gonna get them in the mouth. You're just gonna pull out. I guarantee you, you'll, your hookup ratio would be double as good if you're hooking to the side. Um, if you're hooking up, you're gonna lose a lot more fish. It's really painful reeling it slow. Um, not as good as the last one, but decent fish on the fish head. And that was, that was in around 40 foot of water. These fish right now are just super deep. Um, really slow. Like I said, you got to reel that thing super slow. It's almost really painful. Let's get a release on them. There it goes. So the fish head that I'm using is just a regular half ounce fish head by fish head. And I, I mostly stick to the white colors or shad looking colors. Um, and the trailer that I have is the Reaction Innovations Little Dipper. I really like it, it gives it a lot of action. But some days it's gonna be a little different, you know. Some days you're gonna wanna put a regular fluke style bait on there that doesn't have the paddle tail. Um, sometimes the fish are just really finicky like that. Sometimes the fish are wanting it a little bit slower. They're not as aggressive that day. And so you might wanna slow down. Um, put a regular fluke on there where it doesn't have as much action. But on a day like today, I mean the fish are moderately active and I want something that's gonna attract the fish, you know, it's gonna put off a little bit more vibration. It's gonna catch that fish's attention to get them to bite. That's how they eat it right there. Look at that. 
has a great healthy fat spot fishing in this creek there we go that's a pretty spot good and healthy on your fish let's go ahead and throw them in the level Talking about the rod and reel combo that you're going to want for the fish head spin, um, any 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reel. This one is just a Revo MGX by Abu Garcia. I really like it. And it's on 15 pound fluorocarbon. And guys, why I'm talking about the 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reel, um, the reason I use the 7 to 1 to 1 gear ratio reel, and like I said, you're going to be wanting to reel it slow, but at the same time you're trying to get that fish out of the deep water you're trying to get that fish out of the timber you know you're trying to get the fish out of all that crap and you're going to want to keep constant tension on the fish but if you're somebody who really can't stand to go super slow you know it, it just drives you crazy you're wanting to reel it fast you just can't really stick to that you might want to switch to like a five gear ratio um reel so it's a lot slower and um, you won't have a trouble with it but the thing is once you have that you're not going to be able to keep up with the fish sometimes if they're taking off and everything. That's really why I tend to stick to the 7 1 to 1 gear ratio reel. Um, it's pretty fast. Um, it's perfect for the fish head. The rod that I'm using is pretty much any 7 foot medium heavy to heavy powered rod. You're not going to want like a medium rod. Um, you're going to want to have something with a little bit of backbone. So a medium heavy 7 foot is perfect. Moderate action. Uh, maybe even one with a fast tip would be great. Um, like I said, you're just sweeping to the side. It's not like you're really sticking them like with the jig. But that's the rod and roll combo that I would recommend for the fish head spin. another just small large mouth on the fish head now as you can tell we're fishing right down the middle middle of this ditch just deep water thank you guys so much for tuning in on this episode of kicking their bass tv i know you guys have been wanting to know a lot about the fish head spin how i fish it where i fish it and actually see some fish catches on it and I was thankful enough to get a couple today but thank you guys so much for watching if you learned a few tips please hit that like button if you learned something that you didn't know before you watch this video please hit the like button and please comment below let me know what you think I know you guys love the tutorial videos I did one about the jigs on the laydowns and the docks and I know you guys just tore that thing up and you guys loved it so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video